All right, back over on your site, go ahead and click on the word components, and let's begin to take a look at these. There's a banner component, contacts, Joomla update, messaging, news feeds, post installation messages, redirect, search, smart search, and tags. Now, one of the things that's great about Joomla is that you can add a ton of extensions to your site to make it do whatever you want. These are just the built-in ones. So let's explore each one quickly. Go ahead and click on banners, and banners are exactly what they sound like. They provide banner rotations in any section of your site. Go ahead and click New. We follow the same cache workflow for some of these components. Categorize, add a banner, and then show it in a module position. Let's go ahead and do that. Click on Categories. You have an uncategorized category. Go ahead and click New. And let's call this Joomlaville Advertising. We don't need to worry about anything else there. As is true of categories in our article manager, we could put descriptions, even video or images here. We could make them a subcategory of something else, but we don't need to worry about that. Go ahead and click Save and Close. Click on Banners, and now click New again. Let's call this Joomlaville Add One. It's going to be an image. Let's go ahead and select that image. We're going to just take some of the banners that come with Joomla. Let's use the OSM1 banner here. Click Insert. We won't worry about a height and a width. We're going to make that so it fills the entire area. But we do need alternate text. This is the Open Source Matters Banner 1. And let's make it so it goes to Open Source Matters. Open Source Matters, or OSM, is the board that oversees the legal and financial aspects of the Joomla project. HTTP open source matters.org. Go ahead and put that in. Once again, you can add a description. Let's change the category to Joomlaville Advertising. We can also have a maximum number of impressions. So with any banner advertising, you can say, hey, after 50 or 1,000 impressions, stop using this one. You can look at the total impressions and clicks. Joomla will track all of these for you. If you want to assign a banner to a client, you can do that as well. We saw that just a few moments ago. And again, we can have a purchase type. So this is a pretty nice little system for banner rotations on your site. Let's go ahead and track impressions and track clicks. That way we can report back to OSM how well their banner is doing. Go ahead and click Save and New. Let's do another one. Joomlaville Add 2. And back on Details, let's select Advertisement for Shopping for Joomla Books. Go ahead and click Insert. And let's just put in the Joomla.org site and click on Category, change it to Joomlaville Advertising. We could put many more banners in here, but we'll just leave it at two for now. Click on Banner Details and go ahead and track impressions and clicks. And click Save and Close. So categorize, add the banners, and finally show. Just before we do that, click on Clients. This is where we could add a client in and assign it to a banner ad. And this is where we can track everything that's going on. Head over to Extensions and Modules. We did this when we did our menus. It's similar. Modules, as you recall, are like the dashboard. They place things around our site. Click New, and you'll see Banners. Click on Banners, and these are going to be our Joomlaville banners. And we don't want the title to show up. That would be kind of silly. The target will open these clicks in a new window not to worry about the client. We don't want to show all categories. Let's just show Joomlaville Advertising. We'll randomize the order. We could have some header and footer text here if we wanted. We could also start and stop publishing these modules just the same way as articles. Allow anybody or nobody to see them. And of course, we need to put it in a position. 
So now before we do that, I want to show you a little trick. Go ahead and click Save and Close for now. It's going to mean that our banner is there, but it's not going to show up anywhere because we don't have a position. Click on Extensions and Templates for a moment, and click on Options. We're able to preview the module positions for any template if we go ahead and enable that. So go ahead and enable that and click Save and Close. And then head over to the front page of your site. Go to the base URL and then put question mark TP equals 1. And that overlays the template module positions onto our page. Now we can see where all the module positions are. Well, a nice banner position here is actually position 2 where the breadcrumbs are. It's kind of a strange place for the breadcrumbs. So let's put the breadcrumbs in position 3 and we'll put the banner in position 2. We'll talk more about this later, but for now, just go ahead and do that. So let's see, breadcrumbs, we're going to move that to position 3, the top center. Click Save and Close. And then the banners, go ahead and put that, scroll all the way to the bottom, and put that in position 2, which here is called breadcrumbs. And don't worry about what it's called for now. We're going to fix that later. I suppose we could put it in the banner position. Let's see what that looks like. Go ahead and click Save. And go ahead and get rid of the question mark TP equals 1 on your page. And there's the banner. That's kind of a weird place to put it. I still think we should put it down in the bottom for at least this particular template. We'll fix that later. So go back over and let's put it in position 2, which once again is called breadcrumbs in Protostar. That's all right. Click Save and Close. And if you wouldn't mind, just go back into breadcrumbs and hide the title. Click Save and Close. Let's just do one more update to our banners. Click on Joomlaville banners, change the count to 1. We don't want both banners showing at the same time. We want them to kind of show up in a random way. Finally, change randomize from pinned ordering to pinned randomize. We're not pinning our banners, but we are going to ask them to be randomized on page loads. Go ahead, make those changes, and click Save and Close. All right, head over to your site. Click Home, and now just click around on your site, and you should see the two banners loading at different times in a completely random fashion. If I click on that one, it's going to open that up in a new tab. And there we are. Let's head back to our components and banners and see what kind of tracking we're getting. Here we are. Joomlaville Add 1 has three impressions and one click. Joomlaville Add 2 has three impressions and no clicks. So if a simple banner rotation system is what you're looking for, for a client or for yourself, well then the banner component is really helpful.